Hey, welcome back to the channel. Well, today's painting is going to have a big sky, a big windmill, and lots of sunflowers. It's almost summertime, so it's sunflower time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. All right, you ready to get started? I am too. Our sky is going to be from here up. This is all sky, and then I'll put our windmill in a little bit later. And I do have liquid white up here. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start with a little titanium white and some Indian yellow. I got me, I got my trusty iPad out here. It's got my picture on it I want to do today. I want to start out real light down here at the bottom. Real light. And we're going to try and transition from yellow to a little pale red to finally some blue. That's, our, that's what we're going to try to do. That's our goal. I want pretty light down here, especially right here. I may even make it a little, a little more white in this. Let me get it a little... A little more yellow in it as I come out. This Indian yellow is pretty strong. I'm trying not to put a whole bunch on here. Pretty strong paint. But that's okay. If our sky is streaky, that's kind of what I'm after anyway. To a point. I don't want them to be crazy, but to a point is fine. Just a little bit more, a little bit more yellow right here. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm going to try this CAD Red Light. Try this, see how this works for our next color. I want it kind of pale. So let's see if I got that pale enough. Maybe a little more. I'm just trying to test it here. I don't want to, once you put a collar on, it's hard to get it off. I'm just kind of testing. I think that'll work. It doesn't have to be a lot. Because I want some blue up in here. Bring this down a little bit here on the edges. Stand back here and take a peek. I think it's time for some thalo blue. Here's my palette. I don't have a whole big bunch of colors on here. Some I had from, I think yesterday I was painting a little bit. I'm just mixing it in with this pink, this thalo blue. Got some white right here. I want it pale to start out with for sure. And even paler than that. liquid white that I have up here it helps blend helps blend your colors pretty well and we get a little bit more I'm actually gonna start making it a little darker now especially in this corner right here Especially in that corner and around the top. Even darker than that. Get a 
little bit more. I just don't want to overdo it. Once you overdo it, it's a little late in. Put too much up here. It's, you're going to have a problem. Stand back. See, we're going to have our windmill right in here. All right, I went ahead and put some clouds in. It looked like it needed. I got some wispy ones up there. I got some regular old clouds. It looks like it's time to start. Let me mark this off about where I think it needs to be. Probably, and this is about where the windmill is going to be. Let's see, probably like right in here. And then we're going to have a little row of trees down through there. It looks to me like right up in here it's kind of a grassy field right up here. I always have you something to look at. I, I got my iPad out today. I didn't print anything off, but boy, it helps. You almost have to have something to look at at all times. You can't make things up in your head unless you're a super genius. I guess there's some super geniuses out there maybe, but boy, I gotta have something to look at. This grass probably comes about down in here somewhere. And these trees, they're kind of dark because the sun is its so bright down here. So I'm just going to probably just put these in here with this brush. For now. We're just shaping things up. I'll come back later and reshape or whatever I need to do. But for now. We're just going to throw some stuff in here. Trees tend to get a little taller as they come over to the right. Let's see, just a little taller. Yeah, this is just an old round brush number four. Yep. It's a pretty good tree making brush if for stuff like this. Things like this. So for now, I think that's probably good. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and put my background in for this. I'll set my palette down because I got to hang on. Actually, I can use one of these big dirty brushes today. Black and green. This canvas, so this is all dry down here. This is going to be the background for our sunflowers. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go ahead and scrub all this in. When it's dry, you got to scrub your canvas. I got the liquid white up here, but I don't down here. Makes it makes it easier for me. You know, everybody's different. I like to use a dry canvas. See, well, I gotta set it down. I gotta hang on to everything, man. This, <laughs> this thing will go nuts on me. Shake everywhere if I didn't. Maybe a little more black. Well, it's kind of dark back in here. This is all gonna be sunflowers. So it's gonna be kind of dark in certain areas. And this will put our darkness in here for us. The quick easy way. Get the bottom of it. Just do it all the way down. Green and black. I 
all the way. Yeah, this looks like one of these windmills you might see in Holland. I guess that's where most of them are. This, this type of windmill. But, I mean, this is a real picture. It's got sunflowers. Man, it looks really nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shape this out. And then we'll be back. All right, a minute ago I said I was going to shape this out, but I changed my mind. I think I need to do this first. I took a shop towel and I wiped this off. I think I need to get some leaves, background leaves started in this because this is going to take several layers. So I think I need to actually do that first. I'm going to just use Prussian blue, um, some green. I'm just going to, just, just like you do a tree, a comma stroke on a tree, and I'm going to do it all the way across. I'm just going to mix up colors. I'm going to grab some ochre on occasion, yellow ochre, some green. Because when you look at this sunflower field, you see mostly leaves, all leaves, but then you see the sunflower head sticking up. You'll see what I mean when I, when I get down to it here. But I need to go ahead and do this first because this is going to, this is oil paint. This is going to take a while for this to dry. So I'm just throwing in what you could call leaves, basically sunflower leaves but they're just kind of scrambled up I'll do better ones as it gets closer as the sunflowers get closer to us but in the background here which is what this is this is a lot further back than here but I need to really do this all the way across and that's what we're going to do right now and like I said I'll occasionally get some ochre throw in there that'll put a little bright color in here and there. You just want it kind of randomly mixed. Green. Green, Prussian blue, and a little ochre, maybe black on occasion. I'm going to keep doing this. It's going to take me a while. I'm going to keep doing this, and I'm going to go all the way across. All right, I want to show you what I'm doing here. I went ahead and put the wind, uh, I just collared it in. I mean, it's just painted it in a little bit. I still got to do a lot more work to it. But I put these blades on. Now I'm putting these red, I don't know what they call them, fins perhaps. This is a lizard and crimson I'm using right here. And you got to be very, very careful. I mean, you mess this up and it's going to be bad. So hopefully I don't mess it up in front of you. But I'm going very slow. Very, very slow. Because it's hard to get some of these angles. These are odd angles. But that's all it. I mean, we got to put, we got to do a lot more work to this. But I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here. I remember which side of these, uh, of the windmill, these, whatever you want to call them, fans go on. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to go on this side. Be very careful. And I'm going to stop a little short. I'll probably have to go over these again. Have your paper towel handy. Because you're picking up this paint is wet underneath. So you're still picking up paint. And I'll probably go over this one more time after this, but I just want to give you a heads up what's happening. See, this is the slow part of painting. Slow and boring. To some people, I mean, yeah, I like it, but <laughs> let's do one more. And we're going to do this one and make sure you put it on the right side of it. Nice and slow. And you have to keep wiping your brush off. I'm 
long as we get these sunflowers right, get this windmill right, this might turn out to be a very nice painting for a beginner or intermediate. Yeah, I would definitely have to go over this again. Remember, we put liquid white under here. And I'm running right across the white cloud. I just want to show you what I was doing there real quick. All right, I stopped on the windmill for a second. I'm going to go ahead and start putting in some sunflowers. Now remember, this is further back than this is. These are going to be small sunflowers. These are going to be bigger. And then I'm going to come in and put some leaves in later. But what I did, I took some cad yellow light that I had laying here, and I still had some Indian yellow laying here, and I mixed it together. It's kind of an has a little orange in it, orangey, orange and yellow. And then I found this real old brush that's practically worn down. It's kind of flat on the end. And all I'm doing for these back ones is I'm just touching it. because these are pretty far back. I'm looking at the picture here. I mean, you can see the brown center and we can put that in there, but these are pretty far back. So we're gonna start working on these for a minute. I have to turn your brush different ways. And I'll show you what I do with them after I do this. I'll pull them out a little bit, take a little small brush I'll go ahead and show you right now. Let me find me a little tiny brush. What I do a lot of times, I'll take a little small brush and I'll just pull it out just a little bit. Let me set this down. It kind of gives it the impression of the leaves that are actually on the sunflower instead of just a big splat of paint. So we're just pulling it out a little bit. You know, this is tedious, but hey, you know. I mean, if you want a nice painting, you got to do a little, do the extras. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but I'm just pulling the paint out a little bit. As if it were leaves. But these are still pretty far back into the painting. Now, when we get up close, we're going to have to be a little bit more careful with it. But these, these are supposed to be pretty far back. And then the whole thing down here is sunflowers. And then we'll come back and put our little brown center in it. It'll be a while before I get to that point. <laughs> I got a lot of these to do. It'll be a while. But we'll get there. Because when that, that, you know, the, as they come forward, they get a little bigger, so you don't have to put quite so many. But that's what we're doing right now. All right, this is the next day I've let this painting sit overnight, and that's a good thing to do with oil paints. I mean, if it gets, starts getting sloppy, you just let it sit. But I went ahead and put these in, and I did the same thing I did up here. These are going to be bigger in the front, and I found this brush that actually it's the same one I used put these in. It's got a flat end on it just where it's wore out. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting in some of these, um, putting in the center of some of these sunflowers. And all I'm doing, the center is actually pretty big. It's got a pretty big center to it. And I've got the camera zoomed in about as close as I can get it. And that's it. Now we're going to work on these more, these, especially these ones up close, because they need a little bit of orange in them, this, that, and the other. But I just want to show you how you put the center in. I mean, this is how I do it. It's pretty simple, really. Because these are supposed to be kind of far back anyway. And they don't have to be perfect. But this is what you do. I'll do a few of these get you started on it and then I'll
probably do some of these while you're doing this if you're following along. I mean, this is pretty simple. That's about what it amounts to right there. And as I said, these right here is going to require more work. These are pretty close up. So we'll have to do a little fancy stuff with those. I'm just touching it. That's all I'm doing. This paint's sticky. It sat overnight. This painting did. So I'm just touching it and it's pulling the paint right off. And some of these smaller ones, I got a little smaller brush. This brush is probably too, too big for some of them. But the center of these sunflowers is pretty big. In the picture that I'm looking at. to wipe your brush off every once in a while and then we're going to do some background stuff in here we're going to get started on that so I'm going to go ahead and do this and get this done and then I'll be back all right while I'm waiting for this to dry I went ahead and I just put more red on here I used a flat brush this is a flat brush that I have. I put this as a lizard and crimson. I just hot, just put more on it, made it stand out a little more. And I used the same brush for black. And I went along the blades. And I just put a little bit of white in here. But I used a flat brush to do that with. And this thing, this windmill has three windows in it. I have another flat brush. This is a quarter inch flat. And we're just going to put in some windows. I think there's one, one, and one. We're just going to make nice square little windows the best that we can. And we'll come back and we'll put some white around it and highlight it and all that. Let's see, we can keep painting while this paint down here is drying a little bit. We can keep doing stuff. Just a window there, and I believe there was one right in here. Okay, that's good for now because that's wet. So we're going to go ahead and pull this off. Let's see what this looks like. And there's a couple sunflowers. See how that works? That's extra oil that was on there we don't need. I didn't get all the oil off, but that's that much now that's not on there. We're going to keep putting our leaves on for the moment. I'm going to keep working my way down here. I'll do a few more of these. I'm just randomly putting some highlights in here is what you would call it. I'm going to do this before I work on these. I'm going to make these a little bit, just a touch bigger. So it's a good idea to do this first. That's why I'm doing this first. You know, there's, there's a certain order to do things. I do things out of order sometimes, on purpose, sometimes not on purpose. You just get in, kind of get in a rush and do stuff. But it's all right. I mean, just relax. Don't worry about it. Just do your painting like you want to. Make it look the best you can. And then uh, I would say that's a success. I'm going to put a lot, some bigger leaves down in here. I just, I'm working my way down. Come over here. This just gives the appearance of, you know, grass, leaves. I might even throw in some black here and there, some darkness. Everything has a little darkness to it if you're looking into a field. If you touch your sunflowers, it's okay, no big deal. I 
I'm going to keep bringing this down and I'll be back and show you. I'll put some big leaves here at the bottom. All right, I'm beginning to put the bigger leaves down here toward the bottom. And I'll show you what I'm doing. This is a filbert brush. It's rounded. This is actually a number two. I'm taking my filbert brush. Let me pull this out a little bit. And, you know, these leaves need to be random. I'm just touching it, pulling it a little bit, pressing down, and lifting up. That's all I'm doing. We don't want the leaves to all look identical anyway. And I'll probably do this a little further on back too. Touching, pulling a little bit, pressing down and lifting up. Pulling, pressing down, lifting up. Tedious, I know. <laughs> but that's just the way it is. Pulling, pressing down, lifting up. And, you know, we're just going to do a bunch of these. I'm going to put them at different angles. These are actually too straight. I don't like them real straight like that. But you can angle them down. If that's what you want to do, you can angle them down. Bring one more straight across. It's just up to you. I just wanted to put... These are really close, and I'm going to highlight these with some yellow. Actually, with the same color, which is yellow. Cad Yellow Light Indian Yellow. I'll try to use the same colors all the time, because it ties your painting together. you got the same kind of colors. And see, back in here, I might just give the indication of some. You know, if you was actually looking at this in real life, you would probably see some leaves back in here also. It just takes time. Good practice. Of course, I'll put some stems in here too. We're just... We're just going around doing this. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing that. I, you got the idea now. All right, so what we're doing here now, I took some Prussian blue and I put it on the bottom of the leaves. Now, I'm going to take some cad yellow light and let's see how let's see how well this can come out on top. And we're just touching them. Like I said, I know this is tedious, but that's what you got to do. <laughs> cad yellow light. I'm just touching the top of the leaves. And I'm going to do each and every one of them. Each and every one. You'll be glad you did it once it's over. It makes them look a lot better. So actually we got three colors on each sleeve. We have the green, the light green, the Prussian blue at the bottom, and the cad yellow light on the top. We're just trying to give it colors. You know, the more colors you have, the better. In almost all cases. Color is a good thing. Lots of colors. And just keep wiping your brush off because you're going to pick up the green where I just done this stuff. I just painted these leaves. So you're going to pick up green with each stroke. Come over here and do these. I think I might be able to get one more before I got a refill. The 
this one's kind of under the sunflower so I probably shouldn't highlight that one too much we still got to work on the heads of these sunflowers here still we're not done with those start right here in this one Okay, I'm going to keep doing that. I just want to show you what I'm doing. This is what you have to do. And we're going to come back and put some stems on some of these here in a little bit too. Alright, what I'm doing now is I am trying to pull these sunflowers out a little bit more. It's a slow process. Make them a little bigger and pull them out a little bit more. I'm just taking my brush and just kind of, kind of touching, putting petals on them where I think they need to be making it bigger and you gotta have your paper towel in your hand mainly mainly the ones in the front these are the ones that are the most important these are the ones that everybody sees I'm probably gonna work on these leaves here a little bit more I don't I don't care much for those now we're, I just want to show you what we're doing here to pull these out. See, those are looking a little bit better. Shape them up a little bit. It's getting a little bit out of shape. We don't want some flowers to be out of shape. Like I said, just, just the ones here close to the bottom. We don't want to do the entire thing. We don't want to be here forever. And we're just going to keep, doing, keep at this for a little bit. Until we get them the way we want them. And then we'll we still got to work on that. I still have to work on the center a little bit of these sunflowers. And we're just going to go along. I'm just touching this. So I just got I, quite a bit of paint on my brush. I'm just touching. Going around the head of the sunflower. Just to make it bigger and make it more defined. Well, folks, looks like we're finished. I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it.